Hello, I'm Ramon Arancibia with the University of Missouri Extension. Today we're going to summarize the results of our study to determine whether we can grow watermelons early enough to reach the 4th of July market in Missouri. This study was funded by the Specialty Crop Block Grant from the De Missouri Department of Agriculture and USDA. So essentially, we grew watermelons early in the spring and the protected production systems, as you can see in this picture. We had a high tunnels, a caterpillar type of high tunnels, but it can be done in any type of high tunnel, and low tunnels covered with spoon bonded row covers, the remake type of uh, row covers, relatively thick to protect against cold temperatures. And we compare it with those plots where that were not covered and the Oakland field conditions. We also use this uh, yellow door variety, which is essentially an early variety, a very small melon type of variety that takes about 70, 75 days to maturity. We also worked with a couple growers that wanted to grow watermelons for the 4th of July. One of them did it in a high tunnel in a fix high tunnels, and the other one compared the low tunnels with the open and cover plots to see the differences. They also use a different type of variety like sugar baby, as you see in here. We initiated the transplants in the greenhouse the first or second week of February. Our goal to plant in the field was to the for the first week of April. However, in 2021, we delayed the planting because there was a freeze in the forecast. And this also delayed the harvest later on in the summer, and we missed the 4th of July by a week. Therefore, in 2022, we decided and go ahead and plant it early in April, even though they were freezing in the forecast, and to prove that the high tunnel and low tunnels can protect the plants against freezing. The open plots, the unprotected plots, we did delay the planting until the freezes had passed. This picture is to show you the differences in growth six weeks after planting in the field. You can see in the back under the high tunnel, on the right, the low tunnels, and in front on the left, the uncover and protected planting. And these from the beginning show a difference not only in growth, but timing for female flower to show up and start to set fruits. This is to show you the differences between female and male flowers in cucurbits, in this case in watermelons. It's important to recognize the female flowers because Male flowers show up first and female flowers come later. And at the time that female flowers appears in the plant is when it's time to remove the row cover from the low tunnels and open the high tunnels permanently to allow bees and other pollinators to come and fertilize and pollinate the flowers for fruit set. So harvest, we were able to harvest before the 4th of July in 2022. In 2021, as I mentioned before, we missed the 4th of July by a week. But in the top plot, you can see that one week after the 4th of July, we were able to harvest only 6% of all the fruits from the high tunnels. From the low tunnels and the open field and protected field, we harvest the second week after the 4th of July and later. In 2022, however, we were able to harvest in one place at Hark 8% of the fruit two weeks before of the 4th of July and another 21% of the fruits the week before the 4th of July. And under the low tunnels, we harvest about 15% of the fruits the week before the 4th of July and the rest was harvested uh, after the 4th of July. In the case of the open field, the unprotected, we did not harvest anything. We have too many raccoons invading the crops and we did not have data to show. 
another positive result from this study was the yield. Production under the high tunnel was larger than under the low tunnel and larger than the open unprotected plots. Similarly, the low tunnel was larger than the unprotected plots. You can consider these results also to cover the cost of producing under protected production systems. So in summary, it is possible to grow watermelons under protected production systems to reach the 4th of July in Missouri. To accomplish this, it is necessary to use more early varieties that mature within 70 to 80 days after planting. Plan to get the transplant early February and to plant in the field the first week of April to be able to reach the 4th of July market. Also consider that the increasing yield and the protective production system may cover part of the cost of using these protective systems. And with this, we finish this presentation and I hope it will be useful in your operation. Thank you.